Hey, Gemini's. Let's take a look at what is coming up for you, Gemini's. Um, wow, Gemini's, Gemini's. There is a lot that is going on. Ooh. Mm, 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 Gemini's. All right, my darling Gemini's. Let's see what's coming up for my peeps. Let's see what is coming out. Okay. All right. Angel of love, Gemini. So the squirtle is going to be having the energy of the angel of love for you. Gemini, this quarter is April, May, and June 2021. So these readings of the timeline. So you can always come back and look at these reading. So the angels of love is coming in to heal you, Gemini, whatever that was happening and transpiring. The angels of love is going to be coming in to heal you, Gemini, from whatever problem, heart issue, um, whatever issues that you're having, whatever issues in love that you're going through. I see the angels of love is going to be coming in for you, Gemini. All right, so the squirtle is April. Let's look at April. The energy of the sun, success is going to be coming in in the month of April. Um, success with some sort of a new contract um, and you have some regrets over someone you're dealing with, but success with a new contract for you, Gemini. So in love, there is regrets, but in uh, new contracts, there is going to be some sort of a happiness. So it's as if you can't have everything, all right? And in love, it's there's going to be some sort of a problem. That's why the angel of love is here to help you, Gemini, out. But with new business relationship contracts, new offers, it's going to be very, very successful. A lot of you, Geminis, you are going to be successfully overcoming some sort of an issue and problem that a cancer have created for you, Geminis. A lot of you are going to be all broken by a cancer because you're going to be finding out a whole lot of things about a cancer in the month of April that is going to be very heartbreaking, okay? But you're going to be successfully overcoming this cancer and whatever they have done, whatever they have created in your world. Um, a lot of you who are in a relationship with a cancer is going to be recognizing um, that this person have not been very honest in love, um, that this person didn't love you. This person was using you for what they could um, and manipulating you, and you're going to be recognizing this. And I know a lot of you Gemini's is going to say, no, no, no. No one does that, but the heart, sometimes the heart wants things that the heart shouldn't have, okay? And it's going to be affecting a lot of you Geminis, okay? Ooh, my hair. All right, so April is a very successful period for you, Gemini. But in love, it's not very good. A whole lot of uh, um, emotional situation when it comes up to love. But for the rest, in work, business, anything else apart from love um a lot of you are going to be successfully overcoming what a cancer have done to you um or what your partner have done to you it doesn't have to be a cancer it can be your partner um have hurt you deeply but you're going to be successfully overcoming this Woo! the month of may wow Look out to see what is coming up. Go back and look at your ear reading Gemini's because your month of May is as if you're balancing some sort of a situation that was created for someone else. And you're trying to find balance in order to balance out some sort of a problem that someone created in your life. So I see, yes, heartbreaks. Um, Gemini's, you were heartbroken. I did say it. I did saw it. Um, that you are heartbreaking, heartbroken by someone in a relationship, uh, someone in a relationship and really broken your heart. The angel of love is going to be coming in and help you, Gemini, out. So then we see a whole lot of information. You're going to be finding out a whole lot of information and you're going to be regretting ever being involved in a relationship with someone. Because you're going to be finding out a whole lot of information about this person. And it's not going to be very, very good because it's beside regret. So, yep, your partner is going to be breaking your heart and you're going to be trying to heal that in the month of May. 
Wow. Sorry, Gemini's. That is not good. Um, that is really not good. So heartbreaks, but you're going to be overcoming. A lot of you, Gemini's, your partner is going to be, um, uh, you know, doing something hurting you because whatever is transpiring, you regret. You regret because you're going to be finding out the truth about what someone has done you. A whole lot of information about what your partner has done you is going to be coming out. Ah, uh, the energy of the love in the month of June. Um, so a lot of you are going to be having marriage problems in the month of June. The month of June, you're going to be having marriage problems, problems with your kids, problems with your uh, sisters and brother problems uh, um, with your a mother and father it could be them your mother and father having some sort of an issue that is going to be coming out in june i see hardship hardship for your marriage a lot of you gemini are going to be having hardship with your marriage because here it is so that your partner have broken your heart hardship so hardship with your marriage is going to be coming out that is going to affect you gemini's okay and it's there around marriage. Anyone who is married, a lot of hardship in your marriage. Then I see the um, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn, whoever this Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn is, whatever is transpiring, um, as, as if if you are in a relationship with a Taurus woman, um, you're going to be heartbroken by this Taurus woman, some sort of a problem. Um, if your mom is a Taurus, your mom, there is some sort of a problem, an issue. If you have a sister that is older than you, that is a Taurus person, some sort of a problem. So I see that you regret, a whole lot of regrets, because I see here that you're regretting a whole lot of situation in this quarter, and it has to do with you're really having some hardship with your relationship, with your wife, your husband, a whole lot of problems. So, and a whole lot of information came out. A whole lot of information came out and you have regrets. And you are going to be successfully over a situation. What your wife or husband have done. Maybe it's a divorce. They're trying to pull you down for a lot. But I see whoever this person is. is as if you were in love with someone. Um, and I see success and a heartbreak is going to be over. It's as if you're trying to heal and protect a situation and protect a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn person. And this person is in your foundation and information is as if it, something was done against this person. Whether the Taurus Virgo or Capricorn person is, something was done against this person and your partner has something to do with it because truth is going to be coming out. I see that the love that you have for this person is going to be healing your heart because you're going to be recognizing that this is the only person that really carefully love and truly love you and honestly protects you, okay? And I see in turn, you're going to be protecting this person. It's a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn person. So relationship issues, uh, marriage issues is going to be coming up. Regrets, regrets that you turn your back and have not spoken to this person. Regrets because you're going to be receiving some sort of information about this person. You're going to be regretting it because it's as if you are a part of causing some sort of a problem for this person. So a lot of you are dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn woman. And they are sitting down there and it's going to be helping you to heal the heartbreak that you're going through because they recognize uh, that uh, there was some sort of a undesirable situation. It's as if uh, this person had warned you over a relationship and now you're seeing the truth. And it's as if you're recognizing because if you notice the energy of uh, love with this person, it's as if you're recognizing this is the only person that I truly, truly love me. Is this your mother? Is this a friend? Is this a sister? Um, is this your ex-wife? Who is this person? But you're going to be recognizing that this person is the only person that really, truly loves you and have protected you. And this is going to be God. Heartbreaks is going to be over. A lot of you, um, your marriage is going to be over. You're going to be regretting it. Um, yeah, 
a lot of you, your marriage is going to be over. You're going to be regretting it. But I see you're going to be picking up and moving on because it's as if you're going to be successfully overcoming some hardship that has transpired. So in the in, in the month of April, it's, it's regrets about relationship and a heartbroken over a Taurus Virgo or Capricorn because you're going to be finding out that you had some role to play in this person's life and their quests and their hardship, okay? Um, a couple, a lot of you are going to be, a lot of you are having problems with your relationship. A lot of you are having problems with your relationship. And information is going to be coming in that is going to be heartbroken. Um, but you're going to be like standing your ground and ending a marriage, ending a relationship and moving away from this person and recreating some sort of happiness in your world. So transition, a whole lot of transition is coming up. A lot of you who are in hardship in your relationship, your marriage, it changes is going to be coming in. So wisdom, I wisdom and knowledge is going to be coming in. You're going to be recognizing seriously something about your marriage or your relationship. Um, and you're going to be successful. I have wisdom of knowledge is going to be coming in for you, Gemini, that is going to be showing up something. An end is coming into your marriage or your relationship. An end is coming into your marriage or your relationship. Your marriage is going to be ending. Okay. The hardship is going to be over. A lot of you that was in some sort of a hardship in a relationship and marriage is going to be over. Some sort of a news is going to be coming in um, that is going to be bringing some sort of a sadness. It could be divorce paper. It could be information that comes in um, where is the end. It's the end to um, a connection. And that is going to be doing you pain. So it's as divorce and then divorce, um, some sort of a documentation comes in, something that you were not aware of comes in, and that brings an end to a marriage, a relationship, a contract. In the month of May, the balance, uncertainty, a whole lot of uncertainty for you, Geminis, so whatever is transpiring and coming up, uncertainty, but I see your angels and guides is going to be coming in and protecting you through this period, especially for people who are having relationship problems, okay? Then heartbreaks, uh, I see that uh, you are going to let go of someone. You're going to be recognizing that this person have done you enough injustice and you're going to no longer be heartbroken. You're going to be happy that this marriage, this relationship is end because this person have uh, broken your heart, um, you are going to be re recognized uh, some sort of information data comes in about your partner and recognize uh, some sort of a false side of your partner, whoever your partner is. Data and information is going to be coming in about this person and, there, and um, the, you're going to be recognizing that there was a whole lot of falseness about this person. That information and data what this person told you uh, wasn't good and it was a cancer Whoever is in a relationship with a cancer, they're going to be recognizing that a cancer had lied, okay? Then peace is finally going to be coming in between you and a soulmate or a twin flame or between you and your sisters and brothers, between you and your parents. Peace is finally going to be coming in in the month of July. Um, the energy where um, you and a twin flame and a soulmate may be at separated for a time and you're going to be re-collaborating and getting back together um, and you're going to be finally having peace between you and this person um, that is coming in. A new contract is going to be coming out and you are going to be coming out of the hardship. So a lot of you um, was waiting on some sort of a new contract, some sort of a settlement new contract that is going to be happening in June and you're going to be getting out of the hardship that you were dealing with with your wife your partner or your husband. Then I see, woo, yep, yeah, the Queen of Pentacles. This is a Taurus Virgo or Capricorn person. And I see whoever this person is, um, 
it is going to be having some sort of a new start and it's going to be having some sort of a new contract. It could be that some of you are going to be returning um, and reuniting with a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn person and you and this person is going to be having some sort of a peace okay so it could be an ex that you separated for some time and now this person is going to be you're going to be returning back in this person's life and this person is going to be helping you and supporting you in a very very positive way okay so this person could be creating some sort of a uh, um stable for you okay so this is good because it as if you and this person was in some sort of a conflict maybe it's your mom maybe it's your mom maybe um is a friend or someone like that but it's someone who you truly um was with some sort of a riff between you and this person and a, re a resistance is going to be coming in uncertainty over a contract um is going to be good at the end um in June because um you have some sort of uncertainty in May over a contract but that is going to be resolved in the month of June. I see June is going to be your best month, okay? June is going to be your best month because I see that uh, um in June you and a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn person is going to be reuniting and like you both are going to be having some sort of a new contract. So June is going to be your best month. Um, April not because some sort of a data, some sort of a information came in about your husband or wife and that is going to be splitting you up. Whatever the data and the information that comes in about your husband or wife or your partner, it's going to be splitting you up because I see an end, some sort of a data information and I see regrets. Regrets is here for you, Gemini, regrets. So, um, then when we look at May, your month, May, your month is that uh, um, your marriage is going to be ending. Uncertainty with your marriage. Okay, uncertainty with your marriage because you're you have been having you have been very unhappy in your marriage, some sort of an uncertainty. You're going to be recognizing that your marriage was based on lies. A lot of you are going to be recognizing that a marriage or a relationship was based on lies. A marriage or a relationship was based on lies. You're going to be receiving some sort of a message that is going to be very regretful um and whatever the message the information is you are going to be regretting this but whatever transpire is as if you're going to be gaining higher wisdom from whatever the situation that is happening you are going to be really regaining higher wisdom peace is going to be coming in and this is going to be good june for you guys is going to be your best best month June is going to be your best, best month. And I don't know who is the Taurus Virgo or Capricorn person, but they're going to be making sure that you receive a new contract, whatever that is transpiring. And it's as if um, they are going to be finding out that a contract that was set up in the past um, was not based on honesty. And um, whatever is transpiring, a lot of you are going to be as, um, separating uncertainty with your marriage uncertainty with your relationship a lot of you are having that um in a, this um third quarter changes are coming up with your marriage changes changes are coming up with your marriage heartbreaks you know you are heartbroken about some sort of a invitation um, that you are supposed to get, but no, no need to be heartbroken. It is going to be happening. So it's as if you were hoping for, um, to receive some sort of a, a new contract, new agreement. It, it is taking longer than it should be. But in the month of June, you're going to be, um, very, very happy. You, um, you, uh, guys are going to be very, very happy. Um, and it, it is going to be in June. Um, relationship is going to be playing a significant role. Relationship is really going to be playing a significant role. And a lot of you 
who was heartbroken about a relationship um it's as if someone new is going to be coming in and whoever this is as if a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn had warned you about a relationship you never listen and now you recognize that you still go ahead and is it, it, is exactly what the person had said is exactly what happened um so it's as if this person is at at um really advise you over not to uh, get involved with someone not to marry someone not to and you didn't listen and now you're recognizing that this person was a old wise person this person knew what they were saying this person recognized that something was not uh, and someone wasn't honest and now um the truth is coming out and you're recognizing this it is a month where a lot a quarter where a lot of you are waiting for some sort of an agreement it is going to be coming in but it's going to be coming in in the month of june okay and you know may is such an uncertain month for you you're going to be getting some sort of a false data false information be aware of that that in the month of may you're going to be getting some sort of a false data false information um be aware of this so, a whole lot of regrets some sort of a news is coming in for you guys in the month of uh, um april that is going to be re regretful but it is as if you found out something about your partner and you never expected this it's as if it blow you away because you were not it's as if you were trying to Think about the best of someone and really recognizing that this person was devious. This person had things that was devious and like someone was telling you, hey, be careful, be quite careful. And now you're recognizing it. So peace is going to be finally coming in because you're going to be recognizing the divorce is going to be ending a divorce because in, in, in the month of May, you're going to be recognizing an end is coming into your marriage or relationship. And you're going to be looking and going to speak to someone or someone who would advise you. You're going to be going back to the person and say, hey, you were right about this person. You were so right about this person. Um, if you know what I have gone through with this person. And I see, um, you know, this person is going to be really taking the time to be there to help you out. It's as if you recognize that this person is a wise person. This person sees things before they happen and they were advising you of it okay so you're going to be successful and um, there's some sort of uncertainty over a relationship this relationship is going to come to an end relationship or marriage some sort of a new contract is going to be coming in in the month of june finally the month of june is when um a contract or an agreement is going to be coming in that some of you were waiting on um it could be a um divorce and that sort of thing is going to be final in june and i see you're going to be picking up and moving forward um with a situation where a taurus virgo or a capricorn person is going to be helping you to give you this new start and get you back on track okay and this is going to be good so um it is hard um, it is hard because some sort of information is going to be coming in and you're going to be recognizing that, you know, a Taurus Virgo or Capcom person problems was uh, um, through um, have something to do with you and you regretted every moment that you had let some sort of a data or information for this person get on into the wrong hands and you regretted this. You really regretted this. And I see that they're going to be recognizing um, a lady, whoever the Taurus Virgo or Capricorn person is, have found out that there was some sort of a false play with data and information. And um, this woman is going to be trying to balance it out for you, okay? So you have help. And whoever the Taurus Virgo or Capricorn person is, is going to be helping you with whatever the situation is. So, I do love you, um, Gemini's. Um, I see that some of you Gemini's have done and, and, you know, you give someone data or information. However, it comes up is as if you Gemini were the one who give away someone data or information. 
and they have caught some of you Gemini or recognize that it came from some of you Gemini's computer. And I see you regretted what you have done to a Taurus Virgo or Capricorn person. So, wow. Um, peace is going to be coming in if, um, and I see, um, you Gemini's are going to be trying to rectify a situation for a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn person because you recognize that some sort of a data and information got in the wrong person and, and I see that you're going to be trying to rectify a situation. I gotta go. I'm saying namaste. Until next time, remember to thumbs up. Um, transition is coming in to, to twice five. A lot of you have regrets, but a lot of you are going to be making some sort of a changes in your life. A new contract is coming up. The month of June is going to be your very best month. Whoever had some sort of a issues um, with a cancer or a uh, Pisces, a scorpion, you're going to be um, getting over this and it's going to be recognizing and it's going to be making a lot of changes in your life. You're going to be coming out of this period being very wiser bef than before you went in. All right. I do love you guys. Gotta go. Namaste.